of October is just flying by which is great and we're getting close to that time where we gather as families and celebrate Thanksgiving which is a time where there is a lot of Thanksgiving because there's a lot of good food which is also the time where about this time of year there's something that happens inside of my body that says it's time to put on about 10 pounds I just want you to know I'm not the kind of person that can ignore good food, especially food that, man, I love to eat. Uh, it just, it's a weakness I have. And every winter is a tough time for me. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pray this year that the good food that you eat doesn't give you any extra weight. And you pray for me, please, that the good food, I mean, the really, really good food, I'm talking good food doesn't do that to me either uh, I'm not sure it's gonna work I'm not sure God's gonna answer that prayer but hey it's worth trying I wrote something to someone I love today uh, someone that's living across the mountain and we get to just connect through devotion I I said that Matthew seven twelve is the golden rule and it has I found that over the years this has had a great deal of influence on me and basically I I said however you want people to treat you so treat them is what it teaches it teaches us to live our life in a way that considers how our actions will affect others your family first your friends those who have come to you've come to respect and finally yourself your character and what your actions say about you as a person. Now, I find it interesting in Daniel chapter 6 that there were these, what they call sand traps, that were trying, sat traps, excuse me, did I say sand trap? That is just a major stumble on my part. It was a sat trap. Now, these are governors. They were governors over certain portions of the land. They were trying to find a way to accuse Daniel and find something that they could accuse him. He had too much power in their eyes and they, as many people do, they want to belittle another so that they can take his power, his place, his position. This is the way humans operate. And so they said, well, if we're going to find anything, we're going to have to find something that has to do with the law of his God. So you know how it goes. They got the king to pass a law that you can't worship any other God and openly and Daniel obviously would go open his window and pray towards Jerusalem uh, during you know three times a day he he did this religiously it was it was very much a part of his life he was looking forward to the blessing of God's people returning to their their homeland the place where God himself said he would dwell and they used that against him which kind of leads me to this point Let's make sure that the reason why somebody has something against us is because of the purity of our relationship with God and not just the stupidity of our life. Because there's a lot of that that goes around. Our personality, our inadequacies, our idiosyncrasies. And lots of people can get down on those things, and I get it. But let's, in all, in all that we do, just like I was quoting from Matthew 7, 12 to that loved one. Let's make sure that the things that we do, we consider. First of all, the people that we love most are not just the Lord, those that are physically a part of our life, our loved ones, our family, our friends. And then let's consider ourselves, the way that these actions speak. If we're going to be condemned by others, and I believe that these times not only will come, Everyone will experience this at some point. 
But when they come, let it be because of the purity of our faith in Christ, the purity of our love for him, the purity of a life that's lived in recognition not only of him, but his love for others. And if you get accused for that, hey, then so be it. To live is Christ, to die is gain. Till next time, friends, God bless you.